Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and today we're going to talk about the 30-day challenge. It's all about healthy eating and living, which obviously right now I'm having a beer. I'm, I'm not doing. We're doing a video, hanging out, kind of a podcast, because um, Gracie and Chunky are both doing a 30-day challenge where they're exercising, they're doing cardio, they're running two, three times a week. They're doing weight training two, three times a week. They're doing the greed and juice, what, one to three times a day. Well, we're getting healthier diets and stuff. Yeah. Doing the alkaline, the salts. That's The pH salts, the, uh, the smoothies, the different nuts, walnuts, pecans, all those pistachios, all ma- macadamia nuts, all the different healthy nuts. What else, you guys? Apples. Apples. The smoothie. The smoothie's another protein one that we're powder. doing. The protein, protein powder. The protein powder, yes. Yep. And then just kind of like fixing our life, adjusting our lifestyles, basically putting the change in, saying, you know what, today I had this plan, but I'm going to go exercise today. You know what? I'm going to find the time to do this. And what benefits me? Basically, a lot of the stuff How I've seen How can you ever have it, the time if you never take the time? Exactly. So you're making time to instill those habits. And it just it helped me a lot. Like I have a lot more energy now because I used to be plagued with every single day. I get off work. I do school or something. I get home. I take a nice juicy nap. I'd spend like two two hours of my day just zip by and it's already like seven, eight o'clock and it's already the sun's down. And I'm like, where did the day go? So it's helped me with that, basically just staying awake and having energy throughout the whole day. Very cool. And what yes. about your your skin? Oh, my skin is cleared <clears throat> up dr- drastically, especially like my forehead up here and stuff. It's way clearer. It used to, I used to have like little bumps everywhere and stuff. I used I used to have really kind yeah, of bad you had like here. thousands of little yes, kind of little white things. head kind of pimples all over your forehead and your cheeks and yeah, it's like his skin. And my cheek, the only thing on my cheeks up. now are just like either ingrown hairs from like shaving the loose hairs up here. But other than that, it's cleared up. You're probably I'm pressing insane. a little too hard with the razor and you're giving yourself kind of, it's shaving the tops of the follicles off. So it irritates the skin. Maybe. So you'd be a little more gentle with okay. the light pressure on that. Okay. I'll you, try, I'll you try press that down real hard. You, know, <laughs> <laughs> you give yourself, you know, we call it razor, but you can do the same thing with an electric razor. You press too hard. It just shaves the top layer of your skin off. And so it kind of becomes scabby almost. Yeah. I, think I used that to do that a lot. Here, and then yeah. I would get zits on it. Like when I was in high school, I first started shaving. I, I, I get like zit pimples all around here because I was pressing too hard with yeah. the razor. I didn't know any better. I remember the first time I shaved, it was for um, my first homecoming. I completely <laughs> botched it. So my face was just bleeding everywhere. I did this like 30 minutes before I was getting picked up because I was like, you know what? This shitty little this shitty little mustache coming in, it does not look good. Let me shave it. Literally cut my whole upper lip, cut my Aww. chin. It was great. <laughs> At least you looked snazzy. No, I didn't. That was, I mean, it made me look worse. <laughs> Aww, it's okay. But you live and learn. So I like having the beard now. I don't have to shave as much. Just, just a little, just the neckline. And then this, it's way easier. It keeps me warm. Can't complain. You look like you're going the route of the Dan Bilzerian (laughs) kind of beard.